Hello, my name is Joyce Evans, and um, I've built an ADU on my property so that my son-in-law and daughter can live here with me and help me with the farm. My daughter and son-in-law were wanting to have their own place. Um, they'd been renting for a while, and I said, well, maybe it would be good if you just lived here with me. The property was large enough, and California State had just uh, started pushing the ADU regulations so that people were able to build an ADU on their property. We didn't really talk about what it'd be like living so close, but it's turned out pretty well, especially since they lived in the house with me for the last two months while we were waiting for the ADU to be finished. And everything was fine. Our ADU is 1,200 square feet, it has a garage, it's one bathroom and a half bath, two bedrooms. I was trying to find a design build firm because I didn't want to just go with an architect. I had no idea uh, how to find an architect or if they would be willing to work on a small a small place like this and also knowing what was required for an ADU because it's not like just building a regular house. So I was looking for that. I did not want a prefab. We decided we didn't want anything to even look like a prefab and we wanted it to fit into the, to the space we have and to look a certain way. We didn't want anything that looked really brand new or modern. We wanted something that looked a little bit rustic. So my favorite feature of the house is the chimney. They did a stone chimney and um, I actually gave them photographs of chimneys in, in Italy and they really managed to replicate it. So I'm really impressed with what they did for the chimney. But to find someone who would actually take in the considerations that we had for building an ADU on the property, it was quite a challenge. Uh, a lot of companies just want they want to kind of talk you into doing a prefab and it wouldn't really be what we wanted. So I think we're really fortunate that we found um, Mike Moore and uh, Snap ADU that they were willing to work and also had a great architect that listened to exactly what we wanted and, and uh, got the design we wanted. Hi, I'm Marina. Hi, my name's Will. And we're here to talk about our experience with building an accessory dwelling unit with SNAP ADU in order to take advantage of some unique property that we have and to be closer to family. We decided to build an ADU um, because we're really interested in sustainable agriculture and organic practices. And this property that we have in our family was really a unique opportunity to kind of explore that. It's a big lot, it's very central, and that's really hard to find these days, especially with the cost of housing. So it was just really a great opportunity to kind of take advantage of that and explore that interest of ours, as well as being closer to my mom. We definitely wanted to stay in San Diego. Both of our families are here, so it really worked out great in order to be very central. There was a couple things that were important design-wise. Definitely something that would fit in with the aesthetic of the vineyard. We try to go for uh, sort of a more rustic Italian uh, aesthetic. So we wanted to be able to have that come across in the design on the outside. And then on the inside, we really wanted to take advantage of a more entertaining space and living space. For me specifically, I really wanted a large master bathroom. <laughs> so that was something I wanted to have in the design specifically. And of course, to take advantage of the views and the outdoor space, we wanted a lot of sort of outdoor entertaining space as well. Based on how the lot was arranged, um, we did make sure to take full advantage of the views by having it be as long as it could be, um, such that we can have an entertainment space indoors and outdoors. The reason we chose SNAP ADU is one, because they were very effective at building ADU. They were very familiar with the laws and regulations in order to build it. Um, they also use local and small businesses for a lot of the subcontractors that they used throughout the process, so that was very nice. They were also very communicative throughout the entire process, so we really appreciated that, and very upfront and transparent as far as costs. The proposal process was pretty straightforward. Um, it was really fast and easy to do. I think we had one uh, consultation where we actually had somebody come out here and look at the space and sort of talk about our design goals, and then we also had a virtual consultation as well. It was a long and slightly complicated process. There was some challenges, especially regarding the city and regulations and permits. We are on septic here, so that presented a specific challenge. And Snapadoo was always very communicative about the challenges and worked with us and kind of let us know what was going on and really did their best to sort of overcome those while keeping us in the loop the whole time, which we really, really appreciated. I did want to make a lot of my own decisions design-wise. I kind of 
of had a pretty specific vision of what I wanted and I really appreciated that SNAP ADU was able to work with that and work with me and I was able to sort of provide what I wanted and they were able to work that into their design and into the plan so yeah it was it was great to be able to do that to make sure that I got uh, exactly what I wanted. <laughs> I've always uh, recommended SNAP ADU just through the whole process just due to how communicative they've been and how transparent they've been with costs and any challenges that have come up. So I, yes, I would definitely recommend them. Yeah, there's definitely um, some hurdles, but they were definitely able to overcome them.